Okay, we're going to go through a walkthrough of this Piano CMS application that I built in uh, Sinatra. And uh, the basic model is students and songs. So that a piano student would go into this application and select existing songs or add a song that they want to add and uh, be able to see in their user account the songs uh, that they're working on as well as uh, their fellow students see what songs everyone else is working on and anybody who adds a song to the master list uh, can also other people can also use that song so uh, I'll just walk through the uh, application here uh, starts off with a login this uh, set of links at the top will change based on uh, what we what whatever page we're on so it's kind of contextual so uh, welcome to the application we're going to sign in or we'll log in I guess I got to start it first so now we'll um, uh, log into the application Once you log in, all of these links show up, and the current user and session ID is here. So, uh, current user is Brad, and I've got three songs here that I've selected. I can go through and see my songs, which is where I land when I when I log in. My songs. I can edit my songs. And this shows a list of all the possible songs, so I can go through here and say, okay, I want this one, that one, get rid of that one, add this one, and maybe I'm going to add a tune, blue suede shoes, and Smith. And so now here's all the, the uh, checks and unchecks that I did, plus this new one, blue suede shoes. I can click on that song, and it'll take me to a page that says, you know, here's this song. And here's the people that are playing that song. And right now only I'm playing it because I just added it. I can click on students and see all the current students listed here. Some of them don't have any songs yet. I can click on their names and see here's Bill. Here's all the tunes Bill's working on. And he's working on a song, Human Nature. I can click into there and see, okay, there's Bill, Mary, and Sue are all working on, on, on Human Nature. So uh, while I'm logged in, I can go in and edit my songs again, like I just showed. Um, I can't edit, edit anyone else's songs. I can see their list, though, just like I did. I can edit my info over here. So I can say I want to change my password to that. Click Submit. And uh, then it takes me back to my songs. So I'm going to log out. And it says... Uh, thanks for pra keep practicing and then we'll say home we're going to log in with that new password and that works uh, let's see what else can I do edit my songs edit my info if I go in here and put in don't enter a password it gives me this message Please enter a valid username and password. Edit failed. Please try again. So it takes me back here. Let's say I put a password in there and no username. Please enter a valid username and password. So I will do that. And that's good. And here's a list of all songs in alphabetical order. And we can click on any song to see who's playing it. And then we can click into that user to see all of their songs that they're working on. Um, I'm a signed in user, so if I click sign up, it doesn't it won't take me anywhere it'll basically just show me my songs it'll just leave me there i click login same thing i'm a, I'm a, I'm a logged in user 
Uh, let's say I go in here and I want to hack this URL. I'm going to say Mary is another stupid number. Just put that in there. It'll take me to her list because it's the same as if I went here and uh, chose Mary in the list. But um, I still can't edit anything. And all through the application, this username and ID uh, is being populated by the current user. So as I was building the application, um, that was pretty helpful to see. Am I in fact who I think I am logged in? And can I fake myself out by, you know, by messing around with the URLs? Um, let's see what else. Uh, logging out here, it has my name because I've passed that that name, a username into a ver a temporary variable. Whereas throughout the uh, application, at student was my variable. When I went to log out, we um, assigned that. Let's see, where is it? It's in the controller down here. When I go to log out, I have a, a variable called goodbye, and I make it equal to the at student username. Then I turn that username to nil and clear the session. Uh, and then we go to the, the logout page. That's what allows me to say, you know, goodbye user, username here. Otherwise, it was, uh, you know, it would, the, the at student variable would still be uh, alive and, and um, cause problems. Let's see what else. If I try to sign up again as me, existing user, I get a message. Username is taken. Please try a different name. Um, let's see. Username that one's taken as well. Come up with a new one here. Okay, here's a new user just signed in. And he's uh, user number 13. Doesn't have any songs yet. Uh, I'm sorry, my songs. So his name is Josh. He doesn't have any songs. Let's give him some songs. Let's say Josh has his own blues band, so he's got a blues tune. So now we got the songs we selected plus Josh's new tune. Click that open, he's the only one playing that song. Log out, thanks for practicing, yeah, for, for signing in, Josh. And homepage is there. That's basically it, that's the walkthrough.